episode, we began a reflection on the rosary and epitome of the gospel. My dear friend, you are welcome to I Believe series, season 9, I Believe in the Holy Catholic Church, episode 51, The Rosary and Epitome of the Gospel, part 2. From the introduction, last episode, we were able to see how the rosary is an epitome of the gospel. The introduction, the very first part of the rosary, we were able to see how the rosary is an epitome of the gospel. And so we continue from the introduction to the next, that is the bead, the Father bead the Lord's Prayer. In the Lord's Prayer, what do we see? The disciples of Jesus admired how he prayed, how often he prayed, and how consistent he prayed. In one occasion, Luke chapter 11, verse 1, they asked him, Lord, teach us to pray. Jesus taught them to say the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. We see this as well in Matthew chapter 6 from verse 9 to 13, the Lord's Prayer. When we say the Lord's Prayer, we reflect on the teaching of Jesus, on the instruction of Jesus on how to pray. We address God as our Father. And most importantly, when we say the Lord's Prayer, we are asking that the Father's will may be done in our lives as it is done in heaven. Not wanting to dwell on the Lord's Prayer to analyze it, but I wish to point out this. In Matthew chapter 26, from verse 36, Jesus lived out what he taught us when he prayed in Gethsemane. Say, Father, not what I want. Let your will be done. When we recite the Lord's Prayer, we are asking that the will of the Father may be done. And that is the best prayer we can offer. So each time we say the Lord's Prayer, here we have our Father here, we have it here, we have it here, 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 and then like about, how many times? About six times in six places we say the Lord's Prayer. So six times we are asking that the Father's will may be done in our lives in one breath of prayer. When we are done saying the Lord's Prayer, we move to the next three beads. The salutation of the angel, the Hail Mary, you, as a Catholic, before now, you may think that the Hail Mary is all about our Blessed Mother. And non-Catholics think so. That is why they quarrel with the Hail Mary. I want to tell you now that the Hail Mary is not just about our Blessed Mother. It is about Jesus. It is about Jesus. The angels saluted Mary Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Was that the reason why the angel came? To salute her, to tell her that the Lord is with her, that she is full of grace? No. That was just to clear the background, to deliver the message. And the message is that you will conceive and bear a son, the son of God, that will save the world, the message of incarnation. So the object of the angel's salutation is Jesus. Jesus. See, it is about Jesus. And so when we are saying the Hail Mary, we are reflecting on the incarnation, on the message of incarnation. It is not about Mary, it is about Jesus. The second part of the Hail Mary says, blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Elizabeth's greeting. Luke chapter 1, verse 42. 
the angel's salutation, Luke chapter 1, from verse 26 to 38. It is about Jesus. Then we move to this other part. Here we begin the mysteries. There are 20 mysteries of the rosary. And these 20 mysteries that are talking about Jesus, reflecting about Jesus, the life of Jesus. These 20 mysteries are grouped into four. Four or five mysteries. The joyful mysteries, the luminous or mysteries of light, the sorrowful mysteries, and then the glorious mysteries. And all these are talking about Jesus. We take the first, the joyful mystery. Here we say the first joyful mystery. And what is it? The Annunciation. Luke chapter 1, from verse 26 to 38. You remember Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. At the fullness of time, God sent his son, born of a woman. We are reflecting on the gospel, the life of Jesus. And so Annunciation, the angel brought this good news to Mary. We move to the second mystery. The second mystery, the visitation. Following the angel's visit, salutation, announcement, Mary went to the hill country of Judea to see Elizabeth, her cousin. And then Elizabeth greeted Mary and said that the moment Mary's greeting came to her, the child in her womb leapt for joy. It is not about Mary, it is about Jesus that the child in her womb left for joy was because of Jesus. The presence of Jesus is about Jesus. And then we move to the third, the nativity, the birth of Jesus. The birth of Jesus brought good news, news of great joy, as announced by the song of the angels and the shepherd. Luke chapter 2, verse 10. And then from there we move to the fourth mystery, the presentation of Jesus in the temple. Luke chapter 2 from verse 22 to 41. There the prophecy of Simeon further announces the mission, the identity and mission of this child. And then we move to the fifth mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Luke chapter two from verse, verse 41 to, to 50. You see, Mary pondered everything in her heart, treasured everything in her heart, even what she didn't understand. The life of Jesus. The rosary is about the life of Jesus. The rosary is a complete and perfect summary of the rosary. Next episode, we shall reflect on the other mysteries. My producer, mention something before we started. The Dominican Media, uh, Father Jude Meriowo is the director. He said that I could give away this rosary that I used in this uh, episode. And so how do I give it away? You want to pick the rosary? All right, uh, the 20th comment on our YouTube channel. Whoever makes the 20th comment on our YouTube channel will receive this rosary. God bless you as you view the video, as you like, as you share, as you comment, and most importantly, as you say the rosary, especially this month of October, October devotion. Daily recitation of the rosary is encouraged. May God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.